Uh, this is just a quick update on my previous two videos about the strange, to put it mildly, behaviour of the British police. Uh, the first one was about the Greater Manchester Police and the part they played in the violence directed toward Tommy Robinson's campaign event in Oldham, uh, which is now going to be investigated, according to the Oldham Times, but I wouldn't get my hopes up about this. GMP Chief Constable Ian Hopkins uh, does not fill me with a great deal of confidence at all. Uh, here he is with his Imam and his Quran. Uh, but luckily Hopkins won't be in charge of the investigation. Uh, unluckily though, Assistant Chief Constable Mabs Hussein will. Uh, Hussein is a Muslim quota assistant chief constable and owes his promotion to the bombing of the Manchester Ariana Grand concert, it would seem, <laughs> which is an odd way of advancing through the ranks. So if there's another mass slaughter event carried out in the name of Islam, uh, perhaps Hussein might even become chief constable. Uh, it's certainly a funny old world in Greater Manchester Police, uh, as is evident when you look at their social media. Uh, here's, <clears throat> excuse me, here's Superintendent J.P. Ruffle infusing about Rochdale Police Station taking part in Iftar, the end of Ramadan, and even boasting about fasting in order to appreciate the wonders of Islamic ideology. Uh, he also replied to a Katie Hopkins tweet telling her that she is talking some utter shite. Uh, which is hardly the language a senior police officer should use on a public site, uh, but the calibre of copper is no longer what it once was, of course. Climbing the greasy career pole in the British police has more to do with bowing before Islam uh, than being a decent, truthful officer these days. Uh, Superintendent Ruffle also retweets the musings of a certain Shahid Mohammed Sardar, <laughs> a rather belligerent looking chap who describes himself as first and foremost a Muslim and who seems very keen on promoting assault, uh, providing the assault is carried out against members of what they would term to be the far right. Sardar is very much into the thuggish momentum movement and the violent socialist workers party, but this is all fine with Superintendent Ruffle, it would seem. Uh, and if you spend some time on GMP social media, uh, you discover they are very keen on both Islam and, rather oddly, uh, gay pride, although they probably lack the intelligence to realise why this is a tad oxymoronic. Uh, anyway, the investigation into the violence isn't really going to happen. It's just a public relations exercise. Uh, Greater Manchester Police is bought and paid for by Islam and the hard left. My other video was about the London Metropolitan Police apparently employing known Islamic extremist Lutfa Ali as a political officer or commissar uh, tasked with weeding out potential PCs who don't show enough respect for diversity and cultural enrichment in London. And if it's true that the London Met's Lutfa Ali is indeed the extremist uh, Lutfa Ali, as does seem to be the case, this should be a big story in the mainstream media, or at least you would have thought so. I contacted The Times, The Telegraph, Mail and Breitbart London about it, but have heard nothing back from any of them, which is as unsurprising as it is shocking, although why Breitbart London isn't interested does seem surprising, uh, but I do remember they used to crop me out of photos they published on their website, so Perhaps it's not that surprising after all. I'm going to leave you with some blurb from the National Union of Journalists, uh, which explains why they don't want to run a story about the London Met and Lutva Rally uh, or the terrorism complicit Greater Manchester Police. And if you ever wondered uh, what the media was like in a totalitarian country, uh, you can stop wondering because it's already happening here. Uh, just read it. Uh, finally, uh, please subscribe to my channel and then hit the bell that notifies you about a new video. I've had a lot of messages telling me the notification bell is being deactivated by YouTube. Uh, and if you find this is the case, uh, please leave a comment below. Um, and other than that, continue reading the, uh, the guidelines on race and religion reporting and the far right uh, from the National Union of Journalists, and then you understand exactly why the media is the way it is.